Hello, Halt Guardian here, and uh, welcome back to the Talk Cast. Um, this is the quick intro to the next part or episode. I guess technically that was a pilot, so that's more like a test run. So I guess this would be the official first episode. As you can see, I'm by myself. Um, I believe Art and Walnut are supposed to be joining me. Not entirely sure what's happening because I was asked to, hey, let's start the Talk Cast again. So here I am. I know Art wanted to bring up something, a special announcement, and to be honest, it could be of three things. One, he finally got a girlfriend. Two, he is now the head in his church Bible study group. Or three, he's got some special announcement on his channel for um a project or something. I'm going to go with group leader of the uh, bible study at his church but you know what we'll find out soon enough so uh, i'll just figure out what's going on there <laughs> what do i do here i always get my scoop what you do i'm on that uh the game you didn't want to play <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about the uh, first assignment <gasps> oh yes yeah. I, like I said, I kind of wanted to play it. I just worried about the whole information stealing and all that, you know. And plus, like I said, my hard drive <laughs> needed. I still need to buy a new one. I'm gonna probably buy one around tax return because I definitely need that for my videos. Oh yeah, didn't you say you needed to um plug your uh video or something? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's probably gonna be multiple videos, so but... but then just plug your channel. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Are, why are you recording now? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh what's up guys? Uh I'm Imagine Art and I'm working on a Halo 2 retrospective uh series mini series. Um so yeah. <laughs> it's it's a work in progress, and it's going to take a while, unfortunately. I, I got, uh, I felt like it was a little bit too ambitious. So, yeah, I had to split it up. I was going to have it as one video, but hopefully it goes well. <clears throat> that is one way to start the podcast. I am terrible. Shameless plugging? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why it's a shameless plug. Like, it <laughs> I told him, hey, if you want a shameless plug, have at it, sir. <laughs> we are not professional. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't intend on keeping it professional. <laughs> the video, maybe. But oh, not. we are far from <laughs> professional. Trust oh, me. Yeah. If, you, if you guys watch back the first video, yeah, we are far from professional. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> No, so while he tries to figure out what to do, the rest for his shameless plugging, the channel is Imagine Art Twenty Four. So, yeah, because yeah. obviously he forgot what his channel was. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's Imagine Art Gaming, isn't it? Oh, well, it's Imagine Art Gaming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine Art handle, Gaming Twenty Four. Yeah, yeah. The handle is Imagine Art Twenty Four. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Your handle, yeah. So, yeah, he'll find. I it. forgot to make the handle different. So, but yeah, they'll find it. Yeah. He'll leave it in the description or something. <laughs> I'll make sure editing Carlton remembers to put it in the description. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I feel like Probably. editing Carlton is the guy, like the kid uh, from that one meme from the, the 90s where he's doing the thumbs up, you know? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> he is. He's yeah. that guy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I tell him, hey, I need this. He gives me the thumbs up, which I know damn well ain't going to happen, but I have hope. I might look it up later, but not right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to act like a lazy streamer who doesn't want to look at things because, you know, it's obviously yeah. they can do it themselves, right. but we'll ask their right. chat 40 <laughs> times. Oh, hey, chat. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Uh, what do I do here? Or uh, hey, to re or hey, chat, remind me to remind me. <laughs> no, they'll be like, chat, what's this? Uh, this random thing that they're talking about, and it's like, I'll, I'll sit back and watch. I'm like, then why don't you do it? 
You you have your yeah. phone right there in front of you. Are you yeah. that lazy <laughs> that you can't take twenty seconds to look for it yourself? Oh, it well, me. if you're in the middle of it. Uh, oh, like what the hell was that? I get oh, it. JMR. But... What? Oh my God! Stop talking, please. <laughs> please. It's terrible. It really Wasn't is. it doing just fine a few seconds ago? It yeah, was. Yeah. Holy it, Jesus! It, how far down do I have to go? <laughs> nobody was complaining like like five seconds ago. Yeah, like, but then like back, demon, back. She's <laughs> <laughs> even at a hundred. It's still holy. Hello. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Does it sound better? Yeah, you're good yeah. now. Okay. Holy. Oh, uh, okay. I, I unplugged terrible. the interface and plugged it back in, so hopefully that's a little bit better. I don't know what happened. I, it's... <laughs> okay, okay. He was a model for the Macintosh and Apple II product promotional oh. commercial for Apple. Interesting. In the 1990s. I they did promos like that. Yeah, in the 90s. Oh, yeah. Huh. Well, look at the kid's hairstyle. Of course, yeah, he's true. from oh, the nineties. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. I, I know, no, no. What I mean is just like I didn't know like um, Mac did like promos like that. You, you know? think tech companies were trying to get people to buy their shit by doing commercials? No, they, <laughs> I know gaming companies were a hundred percent. They, they did everything they could. <laughs> well, Apple was obviously doing the same thing. It's it's the fellow kids before fellow kids. What? It's like, you know, <laughs> I mean, am I wrong here? I have no clue what you're talking about. I've never heard fellow kids, kids fellow kids. Yeah, it's... I've never heard of that. <laughs> it's a... You better not be talking to fellow kids. No. <laughs> It's a Reddit thing where, like... I don't get on Reddit, so obviously I wouldn't know that. It, well, th and... okay, okay. Just let me explain it, though. Jeez. No. <laughs> Before you jump to conclusions. It, it's a Reddit thing where it's a bunch of memes of uh, companies trying to appeal to kids. Um, you know, and... But this wasn't know, appealing to kids. It was appealing the... to the world. So it's oh, more no, than no, just I, kids. I, I, yeah. They were trying to sell... Apple II products and Macintoshes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> obviously, a kid can't afford those, so they're obviously, but they're using a kid That's thumbsing true, up, yeah. saying it's yeah. seal of approval, so that their yeah, parents can buy it for them. <laughs> well, okay, so I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, s spill some form of coffee here. Um, I would say tea, yeah. but that sounds kind of goofy, so I'm just gonna say coffee. Yeah. Um. So, what had happened was, um, oh, what had happened was, <laughs> uh, one of the managers that I was closed with, usually, well, not always closed with, but more likely closed with, um, his managing skills were I were questionable. Ah. Uh, so I would help him out because I had manager skills. I've been. A manager before yeah you've been doing stuff like that so he's like okay cool 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 so he's been he learned a little bit from me how to be more aware of how employees work because he's terrible at it yeah and then um did he get better eventually or fuck no <laughs> oh, so he did not try at all <laughs> so um <laughs> another day i came in we were busy so the trash hadn't been tossed out, so okay. So I was like, you know what? Oh, I'll man. I'll uh I'll get to it when I can. So things slowed down when I got when I um when I was on my last run. I came back, and uh, one of the other um employees, she walked past all that. It was all it was just cardboard. It wasn't like trash trash. It was just card a ton of cardboard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Literally so you, sat do you down. Guys have like bailers or. Uh... Um, no. Oh, okay. We don't okay. recycle cardboard, oddly oh, enough. Okay. But we, I'm not I'm not getting into that. Um, so, she literally walked right... The cardboard from where the wall is, is like right there, and then she sat down in the chair right next to it. Oh, did it fall over? No, right she just got on her iPad and just pretended like it didn't exist. Oh, wow. 
and said manager that you know that I was working with um walked on by pretended nothing was nothing ha- was happening nothing no she was on the clock and yeah and then he sat down and was on his phone oh boy this so, is why they don't let us on our phones so <laughs> it's exactly why so i was i was a little livid yeah so i took out i took the cardboard out because i, I told myself i was going to do it anyway but still yeah. somebody could have done it because it, it's fucking atrocious to look at yeah so i took it out Went back in and told myself, any other cleaning chore, these people can have. I'm not touching anything else. <laughs> but then your brain wants I got, to do I it got, anyway. No, no, I got tired of doing it myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I left it alone throughout the rest of the day. And by nighttime came, the back area had like a ton of stuff that needed to be done. Because it doesn't get done unless I do it. Oh boy! <laughs> so you kind of fucked yourself over. No, I didn't. I still didn't touch it. I didn't touch it, and he didn't oh. say anything either. Well, he had. He said he's like, he's like. I noticed the other guys don't do anything, so you just don't touch it. I'm like, oh, I'm already like way ahead of you, dude. Way, way, yeah. way ahead of you. And then um, so after that night, I went home, and then um. Two and a half weeks later, some things happened in between that that I'm not going to discuss because yeah, some things sure. happened. And um, I did come back. Don't So I'll just say that. I did come back. Yeah. That. So uh, I got back and uh, he was on thin ice because the other people, oh, the employees were com- starting to complain about him. Oh, so fi- finally they noticed things. <laughs> See, but I also, it was also my fault because... Ali was just going to him by his own problems that he needed to fix. I should have taken it with somebody else. So yeah. I will take. The, I took the uh, accountability. The the L on that. I took that. I accepted that one. That was on me. That was me for not. But still. But still, even though when I came to him directly with his own problem, still. But I digress. Yeah. So he did eventually. He doesn't work there anymore. Good. <laughs> Yeah, because I got tired of like we close at like one. I got tired. I got tired of getting home at four in the morning. Yeah, we should not be get. I should not be getting home that late if we close at one. Two maximum. The uh, city that I work in yeah. is a ghetto college city. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah. There's no, no in between. It, yeah. It's a ghetto college city. There's there, there's no there's no in between. Yeah. Cause it's a um, it's a uh, all black college. Oh okay. Not saying all black people are ghetto, but uh, <laughs> the ratchetness is real there. So yeah, <laughs> I I can say that and not be judged because it I be, I see it. Yeah, cause, yeah, cause you you see it. So it's just like, oh my god, I hate it so much. Well, it's not just that, but it's like the the thing is, is it's like the culture that they grow up in, like. You know, and it's like that. That you know, I can see how that has an effect on people. I, I, yeah, I know. Product of your environment. Yeah. Thank God that didn't happen to me. Yeah. All right. Uh. Yeah, cause my dad he moved us out of the um, out of um his uh, home territory. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, so we wouldn't grow up in those situations, yeah. or be those kind of people that he uh were friends with in his day. He didn't want us to be like. Them. At least he was smart enough to realize it. <laughs> I mean, but my but my dad also wasn't one of those. He wasn't. He was friends with them, but he wasn't about that life. Yeah, yeah. But he he was cool with all of them though, because my dad was a generally cool guy. So yeah, I had a. Um... A, a white guy in my neighborhood that was like that. He like straight up grew up in the ghetto. Um, yeah. But yeah, and my mom, she she's mountain folk, so <laughs> she's from the mountains. Hold on, kick or uh... <laughs> huh? Hold on, is is that not what it's called? Is a hold hold on, kick? 
Oh, that I guess that's more the southern thing. I don't know. You lost me because I don't even know what that means. I know I nothing know. about. I know nothing about the deep south. Oh yeah, yeah. I know south, but not deep south. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's that south and deep south are two different souths. Well, it's not even the, a word, but I made one. The weird thing with Florida is the morph. Uh, the the morph. Uh, the. <laughs> <laughs> the more north you go, the southern it gets. The you know, yeah, more southern. It, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I've heard about that. It's yeah. more southern and northern yeah. Florida than it is southern Florida. Yeah, like like that's S- the thing. southern like, I, southern I Florida is more like city a, than anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, see, like I live in a more like southern kind of city, but it's still a city, so it's like a mismatch, you know. I, I've I've had run into a crackhead <laughs> once before. An interesting yeah. thing. <laughs> I've never gone that ghetto. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've run into a crackhead before. Oh yeah, but, I I I see a lot of crackheads uh, with like some of the hobos that we have. I'm pretty sure most of them are on drugs. Like, I, oh, I was really young yeah. when this happened. Um, yeah, <laughs> we were in those. We lived in these townhouses, and we were on the second floor. And uh, I don't remember. What was happening? But I heard some rattling at our door. So I That's peeped through. Creepy. I peeped through the blind, and I saw the crackhead. I think he noticed me because, like I said, it was the blind that I pulled up. Yeah. And uh, he freaked out and fell over the um the uh, railing. Oh, the, he he didn't die, did he? Jeez. I have no idea. But all I know in the morning, oh. our our three legged grill was missing a leg, so I have no idea. Wow. He he couldn't, he couldn't just take the whole the leg. Yeah, he didn't take the grill. Yeah. He just took a leg. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like. <laughs> so now it only had two legs. <laughs> it, it it wasn't standing anymore. It was kind of like leaned against it. Um. That sucks, man. I hate it with. Oh man. And I, yeah, it's not like you had a backyard to put it in or anything. Yeah, because so, we were on yeah. the second floor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. <Yep. laughs> but that was the only incident. Never, never happened again. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> now I can't say that I haven't had another grill leg gone missing with a different grill, but yeah, other than that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. I remember we had one of those big rolling grills, so the ones with the wheels on them. Oh yeah, the nice ones. Yeah, yeah. the wheels keep went missing on that one. I don't oh, know why. Cool. I don't know why crackheads just don't take the whole damn. I've seen them. I've seen them carry couches. Why didn't they just take the whole damn grill? That's like that's like when they try to like steal your bike. Instead of stealing your bike, they'll just steal bike parts. Like, yeah, they'll take the like, wheel or the handlebar for like, something yeah. random. <laughs> yeah. It's like why not just take the whole thing? Yeah, at you'll least, get like, you'll get more for it. Please. At least get me mad enough at you to like you know, but but now I'm even more mad because you took parts off my bike. Like you know, it's like now I yeah. can't use this thing. It's like, like you can't be mad at a simple inconvenience. Now it's an unnatural inconvenience. Yeah, like, yeah. like where the fuck am I going to find yeah. new handlebars for a bicycle? Yeah. <laughs> but I have also what? have witnessed somebody lose their car tire, so I have seen that happen before. Wow. They were, they were on cinder blocks. I have seen that. Happened to our neighbor. It was hilarious. Yeah. I didn't see the act, but I have, I saw it happen. Like, they had to... That's insane, yeah. though. Oh, yeah, but since I moved then, I had not, uh, nothing crazy. Except for, like, the neighborhood we moved into. I want to say maybe three weeks or about a month in. The neighborhood's been raided. For, um, raided the police came in and raided a house that was full of heroin and other kinds of drugs that was kind of crazy oh me and my brother yeah they're, they're right and me and my brother witnessed um a hit and run that was kind of wild oh oh yeah we were just well, walking yeah. around the neighborhood learning the learning it and then lady ran her husband over jeez and she even backed up that was great that was the even more insane that part that was a hit and run like it sounded like she did it on purpose almost oh, well crap. a hit and run can be on purpose yeah, no, 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 I, I, I know, like, 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 I'm saying, like, like, because it was her husband specifically, it almost yeah. sounds like it was on purpose. Like, so yeah, she ran him over, backed up, hit him again, and then kept going. 
Oh, that was definitely on purpose. You don't well, just go yeah. back for seconds. Like, <laughs> that's uh, not natural. <laughs> me and my brother just stood there and watched it all on the bowl while she, and she drove off. It was kind of crazy. And then we just continued walking the other way. <laughs> None of our uh, business. I, I mean, there was other people uh, there to call the police, so. Yeah. But we, we, we just kept on going because that was just like, okay. <laughs> there was a... Uh... There was something that me and uh, me and Scott went um, and we were going back. Uh, we went up to get my mic parts at a place called Guitar Center, right? And uh, we accidentally like make the wrong turn. Like uh, I told Scott, like, "Hey, let's just you know we'll, we'll just keep going straight." And he's like, "Oh, okay, okay." So then we get to like the big intersection, um, and like, well. Sorry, just just before that, some crazy person um drove like really fast um and like almost hit us like while we were like slightly turning down that way um as we corrected ourselves back and they just kept going like they were they they needed to go and go and go and get out of there for some reason and then. So we finally get to the intersection, and then we see something else that's even crazier. This, uh, some lady, uh, like, some cr crazy girl, like, she gets out, and, like, out of the... We thought like, she had gotten out of the driver's seat, or that's what it looked like to us. So I don't know if that was the case. And the car just drives off really fast. And then she's running across the street. Uh, to get to like a car wash place, and I we just could not like we we laughed at it and we were like oh we just went this real life GTA or something like that because we could not understand why in the world the car was like able to drive off so fast, um like like the other person must have just swapped the seats but it, it just. It looked like a GTA scenario almost. So, like, <laughs> and I was like, dude, like the people in my uh, my city just cannot drive at all. But it's, it's like an average day in Florida. Just baffles me. <laughs> well, not all of Florida is like that. But <laughs> Tallahassee, Tallahassee for sure is. I guess this is going to be the story time episode. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> you got any unique story you want to tell us, Walnut? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all good, all the good ones start out. Now. It's like he's like. <laughs> now he's trying to figure out what life story can he follow up after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. You and I had some crazy ones to tell. <laughs> like, think that is hard to follow up. <laughs> it's not really a story, but more of a fact. Okay. My school got shot up twice last year. Oh yeah, I remember Jeez. that. Uh, you were telling me about that. That was crazy. No one died, so at least they had bad shooters over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. Ah, well, on the bright side, yeah, the guy can't aim. Yeah, bright side. Yeah. Yeah, but which is worse, California or New York? Let's... Uh, California. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Because you can go to California and and come out with syphilis and you ain't even do anything. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I don't and, need those. I don't get, need those kind of problems. <laughs> you get people stealing stuff. Uh, your uh, Amazon packages off of a train. <laughs> I'd rather go to New York and get robbed than go to California and get syphilis. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think. Even though I've been to California once, but that was like eight years ago. We had a high adventure trip for my church, and uh, we kayaked over the ocean for like a week. Um, like obviously we made like different landings and stuff like that, but like our first day was like going from Mexico Beach, 
And then, like, our destination uh, for the rest of that week was to get to, um, like, the beginning area where the bridge starts to lead towards Saint jo- uh, a place called St. George Island, uh, which is, like, a, like a very popular um, beachfront, like, island that a lot of people really seem to enjoy. Um, like, we, we didn't have anywhere to, like, spend the night, unfortunately. And we didn't know if it was illegal, but we just did it anyway. We stayed on, uh, we slept on the, um, I guess it was, like, a... What are those, like, water bungalows? Like, I guess it's, like, a pier or something like that, but, um, I don't know. We we just, like, we stayed in the the public one of those, and, um, I guess I never connected the dots that you could, like, make floats of different sodas. You didn't know that? my brain it just never crossed my brain like i should have known i feel like i should have known yeah you who knows just about almost every little cartoonish thing yeah you should have yeah yeah. um it was good because it was like a like a a mom and pop like homemade ice cream shop essentially oh yeah you're gonna find stuff like that there like yeah oh yeah it was nice. I, I liked that. And uh, there were, like, cool little, like, antique gift shops. Yeah, I've had a Mountain like Dew one, and I've had a Dr. Pepper one. Ooh. The Dr. Pepper one always gets me. Headed off, like, towards the beginning of that bridge, um, which didn't take very long. But we went to our... Uh, it's funny how uh, you say that bridge... As as if we've experienced this with no, you. No, I I just don't know what other like however like how to say it like I I I'm sorry. I, it's, I'm really bad. I've been si- I've been sitting back here listening to you tell this whole, literally <laughs> the whole story, and I'm like he could have shortened this, but he's treating it like it's an experience that I, everybody's I, been I through. Like it's kind of crazy. Details. I'm terrible at explaining. Story. Nobody really gives all the details in the story time. Yeah. It's beginning, middle, end. There's no... Oh, Sarah did this. Like, oh my god. No, nobody <laughs> like <it>. No. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, you could have you could have said we went up this bridge instead of saying that bridge. Yeah, yeah. okay. Alright, that's fair. That's fair. Um, you're good, well, though. we got to that bridge, and... God damn it, Art. <laughs> <laughs> uh our other camp counselor guy he um uh he has a lake house so we got to spend like the rest of the entire uh day and night uh just uh being on the lake and stuff like that he has this like huge boat is he white uh, yeah well, of course white. he has a lake house why why did i why did i even ask of course <laughs> Of course. <laughs> I don't I'm white. I don't have a lake house. What the fuck? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> but uh if you're white you more than likely do own a lake house. Oh so, no. <laughs> yeah, if you're rich maybe, but like Well you don't have to be rich to own a lake house. You can still be well off. Yeah. And then he well, has some I'm uh, sorry, water but where's skis? the story going? <laughs> It's not like a story, it's just things that happen. Like I don't know. It was like a nice trip though. I was, I was waiting for the to, to finally get to an end, but I, I'm start I started to notice that it was a run on. I'm sorry that it's not a story. Jeez, like not everything is gonna be a story. Sometimes that's a point A to point B thing. Like, you know. Well motherfucker, you went from A to B to C to D. Now we're <laughs> I think we're on L now or M. I lost track. <laughs> You're Jeez. doing the whole damn alphabet. <laughs> we did, yeah, but that like it's an entire week's trip. It was, it was nice, like you know. Then you cut out Adam. again, like I said, beginning, middle, end. We don't need to know about Sarah and Becky and their there, love there for Johnny. Like, we don't care. It was all guys, but uh, like, I don't what, care. What beginning, middle, and end is there to tell though? Like, jeez. Crystal Lake, your story, sir. Damn. <laughs> I'm not allowed to like tell events that happened like it was a cool like trip I had yeah fun. but half of your events that you're talking about are irrelevant 
Uh, no, not really. They were. Cool. The kayak part was cool. You could have stopped there. You said we spent the night at a on a dock. Yeah. After we got lost or whatever, and then say, hey, we went to his mom pa shop later down the road. We had floats, and then cut it to where you ended up at a lake house. You can shorten it by doing that. It doesn't have to be a, a drawn on story. Well, like crazy things that happened in between. So just... You didn't say anything in between what happened from the dock to the lake house after you did the floats. Your floats was between what happened from the dock to the lake yeah. house. I would need to know that you got up in the morning and ate breakfast. I, nobody needs to know that. That's random as fuck. <laughs> Nobody cares about minute details in a story. Man. <laughs> like, oh, I'm pretty sure a lot more happened. A lot more did happen in that crackhead story, but I told you what generally happened. Yeah. Um, Jeez. <laughs> even with my, my story at my job, even though it factually happened, I was able to cut it to what happened. Yeah. There was a lot more that went into it, but I left out a lot of stuff. Well, sorry that I told my story wrong. I, the, the story. You didn't tell it wrong. You just kept going. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out what, what was happening. Cause it felt like it was a whole other thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> you said you went kayaking, and then all of a sudden, now you're at a lake house. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> What yeah, happened? I what? got back on the kayaks after that. Yeah, like it was like a it was a full on kayaking trip, like through and through. It's just that those were the places we stopped at along the way. But you need to add that you went through. You had to go through all these extra steps to get to said place. You could have just said, and then we got here afterwards instead of just adding more. You're padding it, sir. Say that though, <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, I'm so waiting for you to play to make that game. I'm going to, I'm going to be so critical of your story oh, in your game. I would, I would have somebody that knew how to like. I'm break, going to be so break. critical of it. No, I would, I would get somebody that knew how to write a story, and like I would tell them like, hey, like this is what I need to have happen. Yeah, you're gonna give them a a. <laughs> what do you think you're gonna have for the game? He's going to have a Harry Potter novel given to the man. <laughs> here, this is my story. We're going to make this to a video game. <laughs> no, like, I have a very, like, simple, like, idea for it. Like, oh, so you can tell a video game story pretty shortly, but you can't tell a life story. Okay. That's because I've thought this thing through, like, for, like, hours. Yeah, and that's a memory. You can shorten a memory. No way. Anywho... Um, because this one time at band camp, what? hey, band camp, nice, yeah. Um, not an actual band camp, we went to a camp, I was on a band field trip, and uh, I had one of my I, I don't have a fear of water, but I had a bad experience on the river. Oh, well, not a river, yeah. but a lake. Yeah, it was I think like, when, like bad experiences are like that, it just kind because of just... at this point in time when we went. I didn't know how to fully swim yet. Oh. Yeah. So when we got on the canoe, my pals sent my pals because we were separated oh. in this canoe where you know the bigger guy sat in the the two bigger guys to you know to even out the weight. My pals were bigger than me, so they even did they took the front and the back of the canoe, and I sat in the middle, and then they went to play around and joke and try to tip the canoe. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh. Well, they didn't tip it because they got they they got caught. Yeah, so, yeah, that was an awkward. I was gonna start having PTSD flashbacks because that was an awkward flashback. canoe experience. Yeah, I, didn't ruin I, my cha me getting into the water or on the water. Just oh yeah, it was just awkward. I could have sworn like I like I was getting close to eight. Um, and my dad just decided, nope. You're you're going in the deep end, and he lifts me up and throws me right into the deep end. And he's like, "It's sink or swim." Like, and I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" So I was like freaking out, like you know, like I I just didn't know what to do. And well, I mean, <laughs> did you sink or swim? Well, I mean, but the fact that I'm here, Walnut, you should already know. I think he I think it was a combination of both. He sunk for a little bit and then eventually was able to float. 
Yeah. He just yeah. sunk to the bottom of the pool and started walking over to the edge. <laughs> he probably he threw me in there, so of course I did sink a little bit. You guys remember the night I had to uh, talk to the cops? Because of a noise complaint? Uh, it wasn't a noise complaint. The bang upstairs or whatever? Yeah. The banging upstairs, apparently that was a woman being murdered by her boyfriend. Because apparently the boyfriend was that mentally insane, so... So the woman's dead? Supposedly. (laughs) I don't know if... uh, I don't know the whole story. I don't know if that was actually what was the thing, but... So he allegedly... They had four cops... Going to each of the like the four doors upstairs and downstairs all at the same time, it like, and I just like watch as these cops like walk to the other doors like as they started knocking on mine and I'm like oh my gosh what is going on here, and the, that's when they ask me about the noise and I'm like uh, but they don't tell me anything either like they, they were just like I thought there were like gunshots or something like that like we like, would have heard gunshots though. Yeah, no, no, I'm like, I'm just saying, like, I thought I'd, like, missed some gunshots that were happening outside because I was, you know, wearing headphones. So, I was like, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I'm gonna be honest, like, well, but, you know. until something definitely did happen because the next day I got on my bike to get to work and the manager of this place that I live in, like, comes out and she asks if I'm okay and I'm like, yeah, like, I'm clearly fine. Like, is everything okay? And she's like, yeah, like, something happens. Like, and I'm like, oh, boy, okay. Well, usually in domestic cases, usually nobody else gets taken out unless they get involved. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. pretty sure everybody else was fine, except for, obviously, her. I mean, unless homie was a psychopath, but uh, then I can't, oh, yeah. then I can't, uh, allegedly, allegedly a psychopath, then I can't, yeah. uh, you know. <laughs> allegedly, you too. <laughs> Outside of that, I can't um, comment or speculate. You know, that's gonna be our new YouTube word, like just allegedly. allegedly. (laughs) Jeez. Word of the word of the day, allegedly. That's why I tried. I tried to get Minecraft to try because everybody and their mom swore it's the best game in the world. So I tried it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Minecraft. It's okay. <laughs> That's gonna be. I'm gonna put down some merch. Minecraft. It's okay. That was okay. <laughs> oh, sounds like a great T-shirt design. <laughs> I was probably gonna do like a beanie or something because I don't. I like beanies and hats. I'm not. I don't really care too much for T-shirts. Or I'll yeah. do like a um like um. Uh, mouse pads. I'll probably do something like that too. Yeah, right. Good, you know, add that like Minecraft. Mouse it's pad. Okay. I feel like mouse pad designs are a little bit uh better because you can like uh b a you can get away with a lot more, and b you can just go as crazy of a design as you want. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I, w- I have an idea of doing my if I was to do something stupid, but I not j- not that specifically, but I was gonna do something in like comic font, like when you know in the old comics when something went bam power, yeah, like in that font. But like, yeah, but that would that would be good too. Put micro my Microsoft Minecraft in that yeah. font, and then in the bottom yeah. be like just regular like computer text. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> in parentheses, it's okay. It wasn't bad. It's just okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all the Minecraft squeakers are going to hate me for that. It's okay, Art. I understand. You love video games more than you do women. It's it's, it's understandable. I like women. What are you talking about? Ah, see, you said like. Ah, see, see, see. But you I love, love video I games. Love... <laughs> Told you I'll find a way to turn this around. Oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't lying. You did. did you? I was not you lying, sir. You found a way to bring it right back, didn't you? Full circle, sir. Yeah. Full circle. Jeez. Uh, I was not going to let you run away from that, Mister. I want a family. Proceeds not to try and, and 
understand how to get said family. It's hard nowadays, man. Like, women don't even want men anymore. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm pretty sure they still do. <laughs> Did you just say not a large majority? Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't know. I didn't know. Seventy-five percent of the women turn into lesbians. So, hey, hey fellow um people, did people, they? Most people <laughs> just want to be independent nowadays for some strange reason. You know. That's what you're talking about. Okay. okay. Then why didn't yeah. you just why didn't you word it that way instead of saying most women don't want men anymore? Like what? <laughs> that, is that sounds thing. crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> no, you made it sound like seventy-five percent of women in the world are now lesbians. That's oh, the way, no. the way you worded it. Yeah, it was. I guess that's a better way of wording it. And yeah. find that twenty-five percent then. That's a lot harder to do. A, a, I wouldn't say seventy-five percent. I would say more like sixty yeah. percent. Even then, that's a what one in three, pretty much. Yeah. I'd say yeah. I'd, I get chances. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'd still say it's more like sixty percent of women that are more independent these days, but they're still looking for a man. Obviously, it's just not oh, as yes, uh, just not as frequent. You also have to have something to offer them. That's true. Yeah. With independent women, yeah, you have to have more than just oh hi, I look nice. Yeah. Or doesn't even have that. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I, I was trying. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> I was trying to give him hope. Thanks, Walnut. Appreciate the uh, support. I mean, all he has to do is just have confidence in, confidence in himself. That's all he needs. He needs confidence to be confident. Is not everything, man. I, I, it's a good amount, though. Yeah. If you're confident I, in yourself, it, it's a okay. women will notice that. I would say that you shouldn't have confidence more so courage because women notice that a lot more than confidence. Confidence, you just make it look too easy at that point. It, no, that's... no, you're thinking of being cocky. Confidence is the same concept no, as no, brave. No, 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 not even just cockiness. Like Women don't look for cocky guys. They look for confident guys. No. Co you're five, four... Confidence. Bridge. And you're and you're a little on the rough side, but if you fix yourself up and you you can work with your five four, be confident yeah. in your height and everything else, and work on yourself a little bit, women will notice that. I would say having courage is still a better idea though, because but I you won't even have that. Like you're trying, like, <laughs> you know, really hard. You don't have the strength or the courage to make yourself confident. Yeah, I, I gave up after a while. It's exactly. Just, so this dream of a family is looking dimmer and dimmer. Yeah. Uh, to be honest. Well, not in heaven. So at least then I'll be able to find somebody. <laughs> I'm going strip. So you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life till you die. So no, that you can potentially I mean, I, find somebody I, I, in heaven I, I, when you struggle to do it in the I real had, world. I wish I had more time on my hands. That'd be nice, but... I mean, Bro, you you're do? 29! Yeah, no. You have a, a lot of time. The average lifespan is 70-something for men. I'm talking about 80. time in my yeah, daily. Yeah, well, 77, 80, yeah. And I think women, it's like 85, You're saying day-to-day -day time? Yeah, yeah, like day to day time. Yeah. You're talking to us right now. You could not be. At three o'clock like... in the morning. Well, am I gonna go sure. look for a woman at three o'clock in the morning? Yeah, I don't think that's happening. But <laughs> yeah, he's not that desperate that he needs to be a street saver. He's not that desperate. <laughs> he, 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 yeah, he, hasn't, I... he hasn't fallen that far yet. Yeah. Yet, <laughs> being the operative word there. Yet, <laughs> but isn't that the concept of of um religion is to save these hoes? Is <laughs> it? I don't know if like I mean, well, like I love I thy mean, neighbor is not how that works. <laughs> yeah, but like it's a lot harder to get those people to want to be religious than you know. I never said anything about converting. Yeah, I didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, that would be part of it, though. It's it's converting them. 
just like you know but i don't know man like <laughs> most of them are kind of crazy <laughs> I don't. I don't think there is any negotiating with them whatsoever. Like, have you tried? Them? <laughs> I don't think I want to try. Are you kidding me? So you're giving up before you even try? Yeah. Oh my god! No wonder. I don't think you want to try with that. Yeah. Uh, uh. That'd be a little, you know, just a little bit awkward. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you'll find the one there. Hey, I'm pretty sure crazier things have happened. It is Florida. I find a hooker wife. <laughs> it is Florida. <laughs> oh no, 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 I I came across a uh, like after getting off the bus one day when I used to ride the bus to work. Uh, I came across like this shroom lady. Or she was on shrooms. I don't know how she got a hold of them. I, I don't want to know the details, but she was like saying some shit about that she was part of the CIA and like and she saw like a dead body like in the in the back of like some buildings that I was trying to walk by. And, like, she's like, yeah, I don't have my cell phone right now. Like, I, I'm part of the CIA, but, like, you, you gotta believe me. You gotta believe me. And I'm like, there is no fucking way. With how she's dressed up and everything else, like, she's just a fucking crackhead. Like, <laughs> you didn't believe her? <laughs> no, I didn't believe her. Jeez, no. Oh, like, the way she was dressed and, like, everything. Like, she was just... Like, she had, like, a broken down backpack. She looked like a hobo almost, but, like, she was, like, You're young, so it looked like she came, like, back from a party or something like that. Like, you know. She's just undercover. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> there was also no dead body back there when I when I looked, like, so I, I really... So you humored it. You, you, I, it. I humored her for, like, half a second, and, like, and I was, like, I, I should have just, like, probably called the cops, and I'm like, it's just better if I walk away, because if I call the cops, now all of a sudden I'm witness, and I have to, like, be there for that, and then I gotta tell the cops, and then, like, uh, that's just, that's a whole mess of things right there. So tell the I cops or what? I met a crackhead down at the bus no, stop, and no, she's no, telling no, me there's no. a dead body? No, like, like, they would just straight up arrest her, because she was, like, clearly on shrooms. <laughs> yeah, she could have been the one. No, <laughs> no, oh hell no! <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> you just <laughs> the, the uh, Airbnb guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe it's the maybe it's the Airbnb guy's wife. <laughs> 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 Let's be honest, was... that guy was probably on shrooms as well. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he's just messing with everybody at this point. Yeah, like, like, uh... <laughs> I gotta, gotta rub, I gotta rub hot it. dog. I gotta rub hot dog water on this uh, on this electrical uh, switch here. You, you just never know. <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> You just gotta spread butter all over your window seals. <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> he clearly knows, though. Yeah, he knows something's up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> Maybe he knows more than us. <laughs> Maybe you. Yeah, could be. Uh, you just never know, right? <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, everyone who made it to the end of the talk cast, give us each a rating through one through ten for how bright our futures are. <laughs> right now, I do it like a two. We don't even need to ask them. Yeah, yeah. a solid two. <laughs> One and a half on a good day. <laughs> it just gets lower every time we do better. 